Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Italy as we bring you UGC day number three. Call of Duty action here on stream one, just starting off on stream three. Any minute now, we'll be quick live with Jay and half of Joe. Uh, but here on stream number <laughs> one, we have Tosspot and a whole lot of D-Man as uh, <laughs> we are ready to start uh, with SAG versus Ox in the first bracket match. And uh, Lee, why don't you take us away? Well, it is the first knockout stage, and we've just seen Ox on Crossfire, and they were pretty good on Crossfire. As we said, Crossfire is the first map, and uh, immediately Ox have the former 4-on-3 advantage. And uh, it is Sag on the uh, attacking side this time with the bomb in the hands of Fatal. I'll give you a quick roster run down. It's going to be Fatal. Now, the, we've got two with uh, Brambi, so I'm assuming that's like they're like temporary in Sag. I don't know. Maybe it's like a temporary land team they've put together. But it is uh, Brambi Show and Brambi Snow. Oh, great. You could uh, put a bit of an Italian twang on that as well, probably. But uh, Smoke and uh, NKJZ. Well, 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 I mean, what's that abbreviate to? I don't know. We'll call him NK. People don't make nicknames like they used to. <laughs> For Ox, it is going to be Mesa, Sha, Umble, Leho, and Mirko. 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 Sounds more deadly. Deadly. It is actually Mirko Krokop. <laughs> he's, he's down there in the land area. I've been down. If you're just joining us this morning, Lee has decided that everything in the world is related back somehow to UGC. UFC. That's to UFC. And Smoke with a uh, lovely scope shot there onto Mesa. Looking across the news, Milejo and Mirko. Smoke with the last man standing. Now he's going to have to go big, but not going to happen because Mirko is there. And that is a double frag. And first round to Ox. We did say they were good on it, and it seems to be continuing. They were top of the group, I believe. I'll take your word for it. As I don't think I saw the groups. But uh, really, this tournament will be down to an Ox and Red Bite showdown in, the, uh, in the, what would be the next round. Uh, of this, and that will be the winner bracket final. There is a loser bracket, though, so uh, don't worry. As uh, I'm pretty sure I just saw Barambi Show take out his uh, teammate there. Um, and I could say that with some confidence. As uh, Barambi Show and Smoke are now going to have to go for Broke, as they are two versus four. One versus four. It's all on Smoke now. And uh, he lines up frag number one, which is Mirko. And uh, Sag is in trouble here. Smoke has got another man coming towards him, which he's been unlucky not to be able <laughs> to finish off, but has finally done it. It's Shah that goes down. Now he's hit a one versus two. He's got a minute left on the clock, or just under. He kind of can do this. He spotted that first man, and he landed onto that. It really would have been all, uh, all hands on deck for the last man. So good work. He needs to get that bomb, and uh, if he can make this crossover without too much of an issue, like Massa shooting him and killing him, then he would have been in good shape. But he didn't. He's dead. It's over. Round three. Death is an issue indeed. And uh, Massa scoping for Ox, and it looks like it was uh, Smoke that's going to be scoping. I don't know whether he just happens to pick that up or whether he is going to be the scope. Yes, he is. He's scoped for Sag. So uh, Massa didn't have as much luck on this map last time, if I recall, with the uh, scope. So at the moment... I can see, oh, a double, nice double kill. Big, fast, very fast round from Sag here. Missing all the action. And Mesa, the last man standing already in the kebab house. And that is 2-1. And Sag pick up the round. Very clear run from uh, Sag there. Very, very fast round. Caught you off guard. It did catch me off guard. I was uh, eyes elsewhere, eyes on the prize. Demanding liquid. Demanding liquid as my throat is not what it used to be, ladies and gentlemen. It's now stronger as become an unstoppable force here on Quad V. Yes. It will be Brambi Show that has been uh, dropped by Fatal. And Sag have themselves two frags this round. Miss, sh hitting a miss from uh, Messer as he's then picked off by Smoke. And this looks like Sag are going to pick themselves up this round, surely. They're a man to the good. They did get themselves the one, though, and uh, did Ox. And that leaves them with a, an opportunity to come up with uh, the goods here. Smoke needs to connect on this next shot. Messer is down at the back, so he's got free reign with that sniper to poke it in holes it perhaps shouldn't go in. And that's not one of them. Don't force it. Here we go. Messer has no one there, but he has smoked for his bomb planter, who then quickly darted back to the site. Leho has got himself the frag on Brambi Snow. And we're at a three on three. NKJ, I'm going to ignore the Z. NKJ is on the prowl. There's one he thinks coming up from his right. 
clock begins to tick ever louder. But the bomb is planted, and Fatal's got away. Here we go. Shah has to push in now, looks towards Melonrum as he has Leho taking out NKJ, and Leho has been down for his trouble, but Snoke is going to have to go it alone because Fatal's out. It's a one versus one. Mirko down! Lovely clinical headshot from Smoke, and Ox have themselves the next round. And uh, sorry, the, and uh, SAG have themselves round number four. We're at 2 2. Now, if you're joining us, uh, having seen quite a lot of the previous rounds, um, this is a different format. This is best of three, so we're on max rounds 13. Uh, sorry, max round 12, first to 13, uh, rather than first to 25. Yeah, the uh, producer giving you all the chance there to open your can of coke live on stream. So uh, thanks for that, Adam, once again. He's uh, always on the ball. Our producer seems to need to learn to tell us when we're going he, on he camera. Did. He kind of did. If I don't acknowledge it, then I probably didn't see it. <laughs> But uh, anyway, the first round, well, that was a very, 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 very quick round from Sag that I completely missed it. <laughs> I was laughing. You were waffling on so much, the whole round was over. I was trying to talk through so I could open my Coke without making any noise, and then I find out it's all on camera. You probably missed it all on camera as well, because he was so... Uh, so Discreet. <laughs> so discreet and putting discreet. us on screen. That was... Uh, anyway, so I'll take this round. It is going to be Sag with one man down. It is show that is down. Fatal does manage to take Umber down. And uh, the difference at the moment, Ox, uh, they, they stacked a lot up around Kebab House. They did this before. They had like a three-man stack around Kebab House, and the Shah is now going for it. Manages to miss it. Does manage to finally get Fatal down. Dashes back out there. Mirko coming in, taking a smoke as well. Snow, the last man standing for Sag. Snow does down Mirko. Shah thinks he's got him spotted. He's actually in the top of a house, which is uh, caught them off guard a little. Leho is trying to peek there. Shah had a Good sight, and he's going to trick him down the back of the alley there. Oh, wow, Leho in a little bit of trouble, get tagged up heavily. And uh, Snow didn't even get touched. He's going to come dashing around the side. He needs to be careful. They're going to be double teaming him. And Shah does finally take him down. 3 3 the score. Remember, this is now MR12, so uh, it is going to be uh, best of three as well, is it, I believe? So yes. could uh, possibly, possibly have three maps. So here we go. Uh, Ox needing to make sure they can close this one out. Sag posing more of a challenge than the Fofos did in that previous round. Great smoke down the middle really leaves, well, depending on who you're uh, rooting for, leaves absolutely nothing for the snipers to uh, to pick out. And we get a frag each as NKJ goes down. And uh, I think it's Leho that's uh, gone. No, it's Umba that's gone for the Ox side. And uh, Leho's gone walkies. Fatal with the bomb, just... Uh, Beginning of the bomb truck. Sean gets himself the frag onto Brambury Snow. And it will be Brambury Show to try and get himself out of the melon room and collect the frag. But he doesn't. Sean takes some hits and he's struggling to find anyone doing anything of any interest right now as a few hit and misses come off. Mirko's taking damage and is down. Fatal and Bramby Show have got themselves on the board and it's now just Messer and Shot. Messer and that sniper rifle need to have a, a gay old time right now because they need to get a frag. It hasn't happened for them until Shaw drops Bramby. Now Smoke and Fatal left alive against Messer and Shaw in a two versus two. Bomb about to go down. Smoke about to see someone, surely. Fatal's taken a hell of a hit after planting that bomb. And Smoke now needs to cover him well. I felt he was in a good position to watch that crossover, but Fatal has got himself one. And uh, now we're at one on one. Fatal in on the site. And Messer has to cover. Bomb planted in the end. And Messer is just going to sit. And if I were fatal, yeah, do exactly that. Wait. Let the clock do the work. He's going to run around the side of the bus. He's going to tie his shoelace. He's going to call his mum. And eventually, he'll get into that site to the bomb. You can just let him do all of those things rather than showing it. But no, Fatal kept himself away. He waits for it. Now Messer picks up the phone, calls his mum. It's engaged. Now gets himself involved in the fight and loses. 4-3. And we are having a, a stormer of a match here as uh, as the Ox side are really being asked a few questions for the first time in this tournament. Yeah, some uh, good work from Sag. I think Sag actually did did run them quite close in the uh, the group stages. I'd have to double check the score. If we want to see that, it is, uh, they're available, the fact, to Tech 9 and search, so they've all got them on there now, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw someone updating it on there. So the, uh, the usual sites 
that Call of Duty 4 tends to get followers on. As, uh, that was very aggressive work from Sag there. Trying to push Hurley and mess it into a little bit of trouble around the back alley there. He's getting a lot of shots at him. Bomb plant early quite quickly. And uh, they've got good smoke down, good cover on it. And Messer's going to come around, does pick up a frag onto NK. It's taking round. Two on two, Fatal and Smoke versus Messer and Umba. Can Messer manage to chase down his man? No, he can't. It was Fatal was there. Fatal does down him. Umba forget, gets down by Fatal. Fatal really go big for his team at the moment. And he has 10 frags already. That's a definitely leading player. Smoke also up there. So very good play from uh, Sag so far on the attacking side of Crossfire. Yeah, they're looking good. Crossfire is a map where you can attack really well. If you can if you can manipulate that B site and your opposition's unable to put much pressure on it, then you can get in there, get the bomb plonked. It's only a short run over to that bomb and, uh, and do well. So... Let's, uh, let's see where the rocks. They're going to want to be getting at least five out of this half to uh, to let them finish off the round. And they start well in this one with Shah. Brambi has been uh, downed, and it's Messer who's going to have to finish off the job. Just Smoke and NKJ's left up, and Smoke does the damage onto Smart Shah. He's had a good round, Smoke, uh, but as I say that, he's actually dead. Uh, NKJ is the last man standing. One on three, and Messer. Finishes off the job, and uh, it is five to four in favor of Sack. Pretty static positions again from Ox here. We noticed this the uh, last game. Um, in fact, the last two teams, there was uh, Fofos were very much similar. They had very static positions, and maybe after a couple of rounds, they're going to start to learn them. But at the moment, Murko with the opening grenade frag on that bus area takes down Snow. Rinko gets a second onto Fatal. Shah comes through. This could surely be an Ox round now as NK goes down. And that was a very, very quick. Enemax, I uh, didn't see who it was that actually ran through. I think it was Mirko got a three or four there. Go big. You'd like your, your friend big. Mirko to go big. Here we go. <laughs> five, five the score. So Ox have stopped the rot. One, two rounds in a row. Mesa missed his shot. I've got to say, I'm not in love with Mesa. He's not my, uh, my sniper of choice. Finter has had a better tournament thus far. Though we do think he will be going out pretty soon. Um, as Leho picks himself up the frag on Bramby Snow. A shot and a miss from uh, Smoke there. Bramby, though, has uh, done some damage. And Ox find themselves two men down. Make that three. Bramby in on uh, frag number three. And uh, Smoke connects. And that'll be Leho down. And that'll be round six to the SAG side, who are giving nothing away here. Last round of the half, Lee. Take us home. It's funny how it goes with Smoke uh, snipers there. We're following Smoke, we were... And he missed the easy shot and landed the hard shot. Yeah. It's just, you know, some of them just are better with a twitch shot. But uh, when it's lined up straight, they're just like, oh, panic. So uh, Shogun rushing straight around the backside of the complex. But the rest of his team has been completely wiped out while he did that. So Lehu went rum rampaging through Sag's team. And now Show all alone on the back. There's Mesa. Oh, oh my no. lord. That was, uh, yeah, we're talking about giving you position away and completely miss the shot. That was, I've got to assume that was Messer around the side there. They know where he is. They know he's gonna, just going to surely rushing as a team. Yes, there they go. Mirko going in ahead. Messer there. Mirko downs him. And it is all square. So Sank, after doing some pretty clear rounds, really completely threw it away towards the end there. They just uh, got rushed by Ox in the defense. And they just didn't know what to do about it. Yeah, they did. And, uh, you know, actually, on that uh, shot there from Bramby that didn't go his way, there's a player that uh, many of you will remember from way back when, Cobb 1, 2, uh, called Kicker and X. And the pair of them, uh, the two Swedes, were absolute masters of timing the shots. It's not always about taking the shot. You know, you can wait. You can let so many people go through. I remember a clan base Euro Cup land final that I did in Denmark where Kicker waited. And they were f first playing, thinking, shoot him, shoot him, running through the graveyard. Didn't. He waited. Another one popped out, so it was the right decision. You think, okay, now, shoot him, shoot him. And it was the third man that came out, and the kicker then killed all three of them. Uh, and Bramby could have learned from when it is to take that shot. Instead, he got all excited, he shot his load, and in the end, he died uh, without doing any damage. On to round number 13, and off Bramby's back um, as... The SAG side find themselves without either Bramby alive. Mesa and Umba, the only two up for the Ox side. Um, on Ox's first attacking round. Mesa is... In that site, Fatal has downed Umba, and now it's all on Mesa. One on three. Bomb in hand, but in a real tricky position right now. As he pokes his head around the corner, lands a great quick frag onto Fatal there. Now can he follow up? I assume that'll be Fatal at uh, 
Actually, sorry, smoke that'll be around the back where he was looking there. That was the general sniper area. As the smoke goes in, smoke himself will look over towards the back. Nades in towards that site, gets the blip, Messer's in trouble, and then KJ can smell it as they all push in. They want the blood, they want it good, and the piranhas are in the pit for Messer, but he's still going, somehow. The smoke ready to push up those stairs. NKJ has been picked off as well. So this will be great for Mesa. One on three has now become one on one. And Mesa wins the round for Ox. An awesome clutch that brings the scores back in favor of Ox. They're seven three up. And Mesa, who's had a pretty poor morning, makes up in style. Yeah, you've been ripping on him. And he replies I've been you have you've been picking him apart over the last few rounds but uh, here we go Sagan rushing straight in they're going to try and reply but Ox are being taken down show rushes through smokes though as well on a big big fast round from Sag that was uh, pretty incredible stuff yeah, pretty this is probably like why did I bother guys yeah. why did I bother if you're just going to throw did away all that all that work and you just let it go well Mahoney's going to have to do it again on board with Messer as he leads the way Leho gets himself the frag onto Rambi Show. The smoke is in and shots coming across. And wherever Messer is, there's always a, a, a lurker that just seems to follow. When they were <laughs> on defense, there's another man in that house who just never seemed to want to leave Messer. He doesn't like to go out in the, in the battlefield alone. Uh, Fatal last man standing for Sag here as the explosives go down. Where is uh, uh, Fatal? Gets himself that one. It's uh, Shah that goes down, but then Umba finishes off the job. And it's 8-7. Ox have the lead once more. They need five to win map one. So back and forth action here at the moment. Neither team really want to win this round, win this map even, should I say. Remember, it is best of three. This is the first knockout stages. It is going to be double LM, so plenty of Call of Duty action to come. And the first map at the moment. Who will take it? Will it be Ox? Ox certainly coming in the stronger now. They're starting to pick up the game. Mirko and Leho and Shah getting frags. And uh, Snow, the last man. It will snow and smoke, should I say, the last two remaining. Now it's smoke. Smoke all, all to do. He takes down Leo. Where is smoke? He is being tagged up. He's got one to the side. He's got a, he tries to go no scope. Just switch to your deagle, man. And he does. He's still hanging on in there just about. And it's just a tag up Messer. Messer runs away, and then he just stands in the middle of the street going, shoot me. Put me out of my misery, man. And it has happened. And uh, we're now up to 9-7. Uh, in favor of uh, the Ox side, who are slowly beginning to go through the paces and uh, take this one through. Run with Bramby, though, who's gone a long way up the main road. Looking into the left, no one pushing down there. And he spies one man, but Messer takes him down before he can get there. Now Messer looking for love at the back of the map. There's nothing there. Leho's got himself one, and Messer's now going to come in and perhaps cover any bomb plant. Where's his opposite number? F smoke. Sm Never going to hit that smoke. He shot about 10 minutes after the man had run across the side. <laughs> Go on, now have another. Oh, yes! <laughs> Umba dropped through the wall. And you know what? I should rag on those snipers just a little bit more because every time you do, they come up with something special. And Mesa has gone and got that bomb down. Smoke goes looking uh, in that site as he spies nothing. And uh, he's going to push forward. He's got Fatal in the thick of things there. Smoke is being shot at from... Just behind the uh, bomb itself, you can see the trace of fire. Fatal gets himself the frag onto Messer, and now it's 2 on 1. Now just the 1 on 1. Leho drops him. Leho was in a bad position to go up against the sniper if he keeps going for that cross shot. Hasn't happened for him. Smoke's now in the sight. Leho is wanting this. Leho's very aggressive. Get out of there, man. And uh, he does eventually do so, but Smoke finds the frag, and Leho is going to go down. Really, I don't think Leho was uh, ever mentally equipped for that 1 on 1, uh, but. The round has gone the way of uh, Sag, and NKJ has had a nightmare. Two frags only in this one. And he's, uh, uh, he's a long way back there, isn't he? But, uh, well, I mean, Sag are trying to hold this. They're, they're keeping themselves in it so far. I mean, 9-8, which is one round difference. Ox had those two rounds back-to-back -back where they just pushed hard. And at the moment, Sag are keeping themselves every bit. And NK finally picks himself a third frag up with a grenade there onto Shah. Show going to come around the alleyway. Is he going to push forward? Is he just going to hold his position? Smoke with a grenade onto his own teammate there. Snow going down. Brambies won't be happy with that. I think it's four on four. I don't know where it went a bit Welsh then. Was <laughs> Ozo would be proud. <laughs> yeah. Umba does down Show. So they're both Brambies now down. 
Mesa trying to uh, rattle off a couple of shots of his own. Umber does down smoke. So Umber going aggressive here. He's managed to get through the back of uh, on the, around the A site. And he's going to take a peek over towards Kebab. Mesa lands on NK. So oh, Fatal now the last man standing. Bomb goes down. This is surely going to be an ox round. Fatal in Kebab. He's got everything to do with three people coming out from every direction. He does manage to land a headshot on Mesa through the wall. You can see shots coming through. And I tell you what, Ox could actually put themselves in trouble here. It is Umber, the last man standing. He's in that alleyway. Fatal knows exactly where he is. If he could actually just go for, towards the bomb plane, he wants to get the frag. Oh, he all tags him up. Umber in trouble again. And Fatal doing a grand job. I think he's the top fragger for his team at the moment. Yes, he is. And... Uh, He's the one that Sag need re remaining. And Umba is going to come round. Fatal, is he going for the defuse? Yes, he is. Umba's going to come round. Will he be able to catch him in time? He manages to attack him up. Oh, no, he got the defuse. He got he did? Uh, no. No. I don't, Ground I, Vinto. No, today, no, Ox managed to. Oh, he must have been. A, oh. a whisker away. Whisker. Here we go. 10-8 to Ox, who need just three more to go. There's Leho will. Connect on that grenade. Bumba and Mirko pick themselves up. Uh, another grenade frag. Lots of nade frags there. Has just decimated the sag side. And Brambi is the last man standing. Where is he? Gets himself two frags though. Messer and Mirko both go down. Leaving just Shah and Umba. Shah with some fall damage there. That uh, enables Brambi to regroup. Nade over the top. Pointless nade. On the, you know, I say that, he'll probably connect and kill someone. Is that he now flies around the back, really with no concern for where the opponents may be. No zero at A. That's why he made it over. There's Shah, and there's Umber as they fire into the house where they know Brambi is. Brambi now pokes his head out, and really, Brambi, not really keen on saving his life, but he can move. Total disregard for uh, yeah for health for actually looking at yeah. where he was running. He was or running covering. fast, but he wasn't yeah. really looking at where he was running. He uh, flashes going out there from Fatal. Fatal's going to uh, bide his time. Grenades going out there, and the problem with at the moment really Ox have caught them. The last the last few rounds they've really downed them early. Have been grenade frags, very early grenade frags, and NK gets one of his own this time. But replying onto Show, Show trying to dash through that kebab didn't happen. Messing with the scope in top house of the complex. Shah is around the side. He's managed to get himself in position to get into A house. Taking a piece. Umbo getting tagged up. Wow, how did Shah miss the headshot there? I do not know. That head was clear for view. I think it was well, it was NK. No, NK's been in the alleyway the last few times. No, it is NK. He's actually moved position. And Shah does down in Mirko on snow as well. So Fatal and Smoke with it all to do once a game for Sag. Clearly seem to be the top two players for uh, Sag as well. So they are the two you want left. But it is four on two. They have a lot, a lot to do here. And 11-8, they're in danger of letting this uh, match slip into map point. Smoke with the scope. You know, someone, it is Shah that's up in that house, I believe. And he's going to have to uh, take a pit. He didn't even look. Did not even look. It was clear. He saw, he saw the tracer fire going down there. We knew he was there, but didn't even take a peek up in that corner. So uh, Fatal now, the last man standing just in that corner house, does manage to down Shah as he came leaping out the house. And takes a, wow, takes a jumping shot onto Mesa. Mesa missing the shot, but Umba there to help him out. And 12 out, it is map point now. And uh, Ox have just turned it on a little towards the end here. They really have. They're just uh, coasting home here. They've, they've had a good offense and uh, have been able to close out after, you know, Sag did what was expected of them on Crossfire, which was pick up rounds on their offense. But really, from uh, Ox's perspective, they've been able to sh go up a gear. And uh, that's... What NKJ hasn't been able to do. Oh, smoke! He was right between your crosshairs. And uh, now we'll poke his head around the back. It's going to be four on three. Mesa drops Brambi. And, and Mirko is uh, trying to get himself in the action here. Pushes himself through. It's 13 8 now. And uh, that will be. Uh, round map for Ox, and we will move on to map number two. We're going to take a minor break, uh, as we'll be back for Backlot in just a second. You're on Quad V. Rejoin us any minute. Obviously, on Backlot, it is a heavy grenade map, and you've got to assume Ox may well just take it again with the uh, the good nades. But uh, 
Ox really? were a lot more prepared. But for Sag, I mean, you need you need NK to pick up because he didn't really provide much. He was most of his frags were coming from the grades. I think I saw him get one SMG kill. I don't want to hack on the guy, but you know. No, you hack. No, Go on, <laughs> hack on the guy. But you gotta, you gotta, you know. You gotta have the balls to say that guy had a horrendous first map. When the rest of your team are getting, you know, double figures, and he's, I think he got two. six. <laughs> well, he was on two at the time, yeah. So uh, really, you know. You've got to you've got to perform, and the rest of the team. You've got to assume the rest of the team will be giving him some abuse as well. He's, uh, they need five players on players this map. Players are not not pleasant when it comes to that sort of thing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I know plenty of cop players who always held back from saying. I, I want to clear something up as well, because just you know a lot of people have been going, oh, we're hacking on the casters. They stepped up and think. Oh, I think new casters coming along is brilliant. We we were we've been screaming about it for so so long. To get we would welcome the quad V or uh, empower them to do it themselves. Yeah, I mean that's all well and good, but uh, it's, I don't know. Some some people, yeah, the problem with this with this business is people get egos and they go belong beyond themselves. And some would say you know arrogance and all that. I am, I can't stand it myself because it's one of the reasons I stopped gaming really because I just can. You stop gaming. Egos. You don't play any games at all because I just got rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with like got old or anything, but uh, you know, all all credit to these guys doing the casting. But you know, you gotta you gotta like, you could just can't hack on people when they you know they enjoy what they see. No idea what you're talking no. about, but here we go. Uh, we quad, are quad on quad V abuse is what I was getting at. Yes, no one likes the quad V abuse. Oh no, yes. Well, some do. It's all about the money, obviously. <laughs> Eight thousand pounds a minute we're getting paid. <laughs> Eight thousand pounds a minute. Sharp is picked off by. S uh, sorry, Sharp picks off Smoke, and uh, that leaves just R B W X Z. He's changed his name, hasn't he? Yes. We're That's gonna call him Rainbows. Snow. That's Snow. That is. Oh no, they may have subbed someone in actually. Rainbows. Why would they not sub out? <laughs> <laughs> Rainbows chasing. Oh dear. There's nowhere on the other end of the rainbow with a pot of gold for you, young man. That was horrendous. And Shah and Mirko have been able to dawdle around, and now Shah will put him out of his misery. Round one goes to Ox. Ouch, and all of his teammates saw it. Yes, we may or may not have uh, messed with the balance when the Ian wasn't in the room, the sound engineer, so... Uh, he may to want to do a sound check for he us. He may well want to do a sound check, but he doesn't look interested. It's, it, we, you can't pay him enough to do this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on, and it is going to be Ox de Mesa. Mesa switching to the AK-47. Now notice he's not using the scope on back lot. Some players might want to take note that you do not want to use a scope on back lot. I believe we've gone over this subject a few times. Over the years. Over the years. Mint. But uh, well <laughs> I actually, to be fair, I have, I do remember that it's that single ace from Mint with the scope. So uh, he's got a good grounds to defend himself, but. Moving on, it is Ox versus Sag, and uh, it is a two-on-two -two situation. Shah and Mirko once again, the last two in reigning for Ox. Are they going to close it out again? It is, in fact, it is Rainbow, last man standing now for uh, Sag, and then Shah is going to down him again, and it is all too commonplace now. Ox stepping it up. They are 2-0 to already on yeah. the attack. They've started this map very, very well. The, sh the uh, Sag side really haven't put up a defense um, that, that's needed beating. They've not got into... The there we go! That's the nade they wanted to hit. They didn't want to lose one of themselves, but Fatal's done his damage, and uh, now he'll try and get into that site if he can, and uh, we'll be able to put up something. Shah drops Smoke, though, and Smoke was one of the key players in that first map, uh, but Brambi Show has just gone walkies. He, just, he thinks if he pokes his head out of a window, no one will shoot it off. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and uh, frag number three for Shah comes in, and uh, round number three goes on the board for Ox, who are looking good at 3-0. Looking dominant here. And at the moment, Ox, it is a best of three, remember, so they only need this map. And uh, that will be all she wrote. Uh, through to the winner bracket final. There's only uh, about six or seven teams here. I'm not too sure I didn't quite count. It's uh, the Italians. Shah, taking out the snow. Remember also going on in this event, there is... Uh, some top StarCraft 2 action, I think that. Hasn't started yet. Hasn't started. I can't hear Total Biscuit. I'm sure I would have heard him by now. Um, as well as uh, Quake Live, which is going on right now on uh, Stream 3, I believe, which is yep. uh, with uh, James Too Good Harding. 
He's down there, but 4-0 now, and Ox really are dominating in this match, which is why I completely missed that round. And away in this one, the, uh, pony, Starcraft two. the uh, SAG side, coming back off that timeout, have picked themselves up three frags, and whatever was in that timeout seems to have worked, as uh, the Ox team, oh, lovely double frag there from Umba, awesome as he turns the screw, only to have the screw broken, as uh, it is 4-1, to is isn't really. Threaded. Threaded, that was what I was thinking <laughs> about, but... Yep. So here we go, it is going to be the uh, SAG on the defensive. 4-1 the score currently to the Ox team, first round to SAG there. Are they going to land any frags? No, they won't. Shard did get clipped by a grenade there. A bit of uh, shrapnel in his leg as he limps away. Shard manages to make his way into, uh, in fact, he may have been falling damage because he's gone straight towards bottom of B site, A site, sorry. Get my words right, it's right there on the screen, isn't it? Yeah, as you're going to nicely point out, Ox. And a little bit of trouble here. Mirko does go down. Umber and Leho, the last two standing. And uh, some nice frag in there straight away. It's just, uh, they both get one of their own. Three on two. Fatal and Smoke, the top fraggers. Four sag in the last map. So uh, they're still in there. They've got NK in support, which is uh, a loose term. <laughs> smoke. It's peaking. So Smoke using the uh, scope here. On back lot. We're uh, we're getting quite quite tiresome of mentioning it. Umber does down NK, and let's see. Fatal's in all sorts of trouble. What it really is, smoke supporting and offering. With he's getting shot scope. at the moment. Yeah, he's not really helping out Fatal. I mean, he's got good eyes on the site, but you could also do that with an AK from here. It's not, not. I mean, I'm not an expert Call of Duty 4 player. I, I've been known to play it now and again, but I've been known to uh, watch the odd match or two. He's got two in front of him there. He actually did offered nothing. Fatal was at the other side. He does land it with a deagle. Didn't quite down. Leho, he does manage to get him down. He's going to get a defuse on him. Well, would you believe it? Smoke's going to get in there. But I think it was all on Fatal that did the work. And uh, great play from Fatal. Explosive. Yeah, because <laughs> Smoke didn't offer a lot. Well, he, he, he offered the uh, I'm here shooting. I'm here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at me. Uh, We're going to stay on Smoke, though. Uh, and, and maybe we'll be proven wrong. Um, we're not fans of, uh, of running with a, a sniper on this map, but uh, we'll see what he's got to offer. Over go the nades, and uh, that's where he could offer something. And Umba and Leho both do. Let's see. Ox make their way across. You see that uh, one of the uh, Brambi is that's taken some damage out in that main row, but he got himself the frag onto Mesa. Didn't get involved in that at all. It's because he had the rifle. He had to stay out of the fight. He had to stay at range to use that rifle. Never could, and Ox picked him off. And now it's all on Brambi. One versus three. Flies around the corner and towards that site. There's a player to his left on the, I think maybe on the ground floor or literally right in front of him. Uh, and now another one's going to come in. He is between a rock and a very dead place. Five to the score. Well, I mean, you just got to think back of the top teams on Backlot, and it was Reason, Fnatic, Dignitas, and none of them really bothered with escape. I mean, Stevie is a is a completely different example. Now and again, different he did beast. use it from Fnatic, yeah. But he, you know, we're talking an exceptional scope there. So uh, basically, they, it's it's all about rushing this map. And uh, as soon as they drop that scope and realize suddenly you've got another AK-47 in support of you, uh, your SMGs are allowed to charge forward, and you've got nice good cover with them. But uh, as while you're trying to wiggle your way up into the sniper house uh, uh, over at B, you're suddenly taking yourself out of the game. And if they're rushing on A, you can just forget it. You're not, you're not in the game. You're not in, involved in it. And that's why it's, it suddenly makes it a four on five situation. But uh, at the moment, we'll see. We'll see. But uh, Smoke is down again. Fatal. Fatal's still in it. So uh, I've got great... Uh, in Fatal We Trust? In Fatal We Trust, yeah. That's, that's the one I was trying to get to. He's... Uh, he seems to be the main man for SAG at the moment. He certainly uh, seems to perform well. He does manage to get a tag onto Leho there, but I don't think he... Uh, I don't think he was convinced he saw someone. He did put a couple of shots in him. Smoke goes down over the side. Fatal is the last man standing. Bomb does go down from Mirko. Fatal with the Deagle out. He's got an AK-47, but he's going to prefer to use the Deagle. Get some reload. At close range, it works. Yeah. Oh, he does manage to catch a glimpse. Oh, just just happened to be draw his attention. Wow, he just stayed there. He did have three people on him. We'll get we'll we'll get off his back for that one. Six two, Ox looking good, and uh, they have uh, not allowed that two round blip to cause any problems for them. And uh, we'll see whether uh, they're able to do something. Mirko is going to push over. There's the nades, and Ox 
fortunate to get out without anything uh, doing any damage to them. The Flash does some damage, but Mirko's been picked off. Sean's pushed right in the front of the bomb house. He's got one about to come around the corner. And he's got him. It's Rainbow that goes down. And uh, there is a player to his right and a player to his left. Where's he going? Looks like he favors the B side of this uh, uh, exit. And uh, when he poked his head through there, someone tried to chop it off, I think. But uh, Umbo with the bomb goes in towards A. And uh, they'll... Continue to bait it out. Umba has been dropped by Fatal, who in turn is picked off by Leho. NKJ has got himself a frag, and it's Shaw that's down. Leho's going to have to try and put that bomb down. It's a two on two. Smoke in the middle house, and NKJ hiding for his life because he's taken a lot of bullets. Smoke finds Massa, and then follows up with the sniper straight into the site. 6 3 the score. Was a good shot to finish that one off. And that is going to be Ox losing that round, but with nine rounds played. We have three left in the first half. Ox still in the driving seat. Yeah, so Sag could still try and eke out the draw. I'm not too sure they will, though. But uh, Smoke does land a grenade frag of his own at the start of the layer. Who goes down, Massa? Straight away replies, and Fatal is down, which immediately tells me Ox are going to pick this round up. Who knows? Who knows? Smoke ending out round nicely. Umbo's going to get the bomb down. Massa downs. NK and Mesa downs Bambi as Snow, a uh, show even. Snow's not in the game at the moment. It is Smoke, the last one standing, gets a deagle kill, and now he's got three men closing in his position. Oh. Lovely scope shot there onto Mirko, so maybe, maybe, maybe. He's trying to prove a point. He's got to go really big for his team here. Peeps around. Gives his position away a little with the, uh, the jump. They know where he is, roughly, though. And uh, Ox are not going to get pressured into the situation. They know they only need to sit back, really. He's going to move in. Well, he was a little... Could have done with throwing that before he actually entered the building. Maybe when he was going to press the do dozer, I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's doing all right. He's doing all right. 7-3, two rounds to go in this one. Ox are... Uh in the driving seat, as mentioned, and uh, looking good. Only Mirko having a, a bit of a quiet map for uh, Ox, and uh, Leho gets himself the grenade onto Brambi, and uh, the SAG side are down a man. Leho pokes head around the corner, only get it taken down by Rainbow, and it'll be fatal, continuing to watch into that site. Mesa took some damage, decided he didn't want to engage in that fight over at B, and let's see if I can find Fatal once again. Oh, Smoke's in the action here, looking for someone. Not sure where they are, he's getting picked off all over the shop, and he somehow manages to live. NKJ and Rainbow have both got frags. Umber in on Rainbow, though, and F Smoke just will not die. He's acting as a hell of a distraction for someone, and NKJ has picked them off. Someone did make his way into the site that he's pointing at. It's Shaw that's the last man standing. Let's see if we can find him. He's walked a long way away from that site. He's going to go looking for Smoke and finds him. Still can't finish him off. Smoke will not die, but finally does. The bomb is in that top house. And it's a one on two. NKJ, who's had a, a real nightmare of a game thus far, could be a, a round winner here. As he has got the, s the scent of his man. It'll be Sharp looking around that corner. He's going to spy him any second now. No, where's he going? 30 seconds to go on the clock. NKJ sits patiently just behind the uh, truck. Uh, sorry, just behind the tin as the bomb is planted, unchallenged. NKJ now goes looking. He seems to be a few seconds off the pace here as uh, Shaw shows himself and a few shots come out from NKJ's rifle. And see, pings across a few attempts. It will be NKJ to go for it. Shaw is there and will finish it off. And well, you didn't back NKJ before that one on one started and you're only vindicated. It is 8-3 to Ox. So one last round of the defense for SAG and they're in a little bit of trouble it has to be said they uh, lost the first map and at the moment the grenades are going out from left right and center and SAG did manage to come out better at that one and Ox it is just Mesa, Umbo and Mirko and uh, Mesa's going to go forward. Mesa using the SMG now obviously scope on the uh, previous maps on crossfire Umbo. Well that's just two on two straight away. Smoke does land that scope shot. Lands another one as well onto Mesa. Gets down by Mirko. Mirko versus NK and well we're back in this situation. This time it's Mirko versus NK and NK is he going to perform any better this time? He is in top garage. He's got a good view of around the map but Mirko Going for that bomb plant, and is NK going to respond this time? He didn't respond when Shah went for it last time. No. No is the answer. He didn't He's even a passive player. He didn't bother laying any fire down. He he's preferred to try and get the exit frag. Didn't happen, though, because Enko didn't see him before Mirko did. And now Mirko really, he, 
He just, need, he just needs to sit there, really. He's, it's down to NK to move. There's no reason to be poking out. He's getting tagged up and very, very close to going down. 22 seconds on the clock. He's, he catches a glimpse of NK making a move on the right-hand side. And NK is still going to try and get in there. Oh, but he leaves himself exposed on a very slow just hop sit over down, the wall. Mirko. Yeah, Mirko should have just stayed there. Leo is Leo saying exactly the same thing there. And he drops straight down in front of him. That's got to be a clean frag. And what the hell was Mirko doing? Too late, though, for NK. And it is 9-3. So, Ox take a very, very strong first half there on the attacking side. And really, what are Sag going to do in the defence? Uh -huh. I don't think they're going to be able to do a lot. But in Mirko there, you know, sometimes you've just got to wait. You know what's going to happen. You plant the bomb, the guy's got to come there. As I tried to make a joking point to it in the previous map, when you go in that one-on-one -on -one situation, that guy's going to look around the site, he's going to tie his shoelace, he's going to call his mom, he's going to call his sister, and then eventually, 30 seconds later, he's going to have 10 seconds left to kill you and the bomb. Just play to that, just stay out of reach. All right, once in a blue moon, you're going to get caught out, and he's going to go straight for the bomb site because he couldn't get through to his mom on the phone. <laughs> but, you know, it's the same. Card, Counter-Strike, it exactly the same. You have to try and cover every angle, and it, there isn't really enough time. Yes, here we go. Fatal is the last man standing for Sag. Ox have started very well here. Let's see if we can find Fatal. He is capable of something special, but it's not going to happen. Ten to three. Three rounds to go for Ox. So strong, strong performance from uh, Ox here. And Fatal really needs to try and drag his team into this. Let's have a quick look. Actually, Smoke, ironically, is the top fragger after giving him abuse. Yeah, Lee. Yeah. Bloody scopes. They never work. Let's see what he's going to do. Fatal does down Leho. That's going to be an easy frag for Mesa. Nearly missed it yeah. though on to show. <laughs> Tried his best to miss. Tried his best indeed. And Umba looking round. Smoke with that scope still on the attack this time. He's not giving it up. Looking round. Mirko does get tagged off and it was Smoke with the Deagle. Which is I think where most of his shots have come from. And Fatal now with a Frag into Umba, they know where he is. He is. He's the last man standing, and Smoke with the scope downs <laughs> him, of course. Just a point, a point across, and now he is top fragger by some way. Yep, and this is 10-4. Uh, so they needed that round uh, sag to keep them going. And uh, let's see whether they're able to do anything about it. Rainbow lands a grenade onto Mirko, who's been pretty bland in this uh, second match that we've seen him involved He's in. He's never been strong on the second round. Leo cuts himself <laughs> a frag on the rainbow. And uh, the SAG side are a man to the good. Smoke still rocking that uh, sniper, but uh, still finding frags. As Ox get themselves one back. Shah drops NKJ. NKJ's kind of half a player, though. As uh, Smoke does then follow up with a frag onto Shah. And that's the big man down for Ox, who's been. Shah's been finding frag after frag as. Uh, Fatal, Brambi, and Smoke ready to make their move into the site. It's Leho that's left after Fatal picks off Umba. Here is Leho. He's uh, going to have to deal with two players. My assumption is the bomb's going to make its way to B. Uh, it is. And Fatal, if he stays still, he doesn't know this, but if he stays still, he's about to see someone running across there. And he gets him. It's Smoke that goes down. He heard something behind him, and he knows there's a man up top. That man is now poking around. It's Fatal who's looking for him. If he were to take out Fatal, that's the danger man gone. And you'd favor Leho for this. But the bombers ran all the way to A, and Leho was chasing what he heard, and Fatal was able to pick up an easy frag in the back. 10 5, the attacking side now uh, looking good. Sorry, the defending side now looking good, having picked up three rounds in the second half. Indeed. So at the moment, what can they do? Smoke? Has been turning on a little bit. There were, uh, I believe, my Italian is not the strongest, but I believe they were saying he seems to have Kevlar on or something because they can't seem to kill him. And uh, we saw that, didn't we? We saw him. In Jesus, who was that? And managed to dodge, dodge away there. Fatal goes down. I didn't see. I think it might have been uh, Rainbow dashing through, showing Rainbow do land a frag of their own. Smoke goes looking. Mesaleo and Mirko, the three remaining four Ox, and Smoke heads towards that B sniper position, taking a look. Pretty confident there's no one there. He's uh, not really checking the angles. He was just more concerned about checking the A house. Does manage to see someone. Show downs Mesa. Show also down in Leho. We're going to have a crunch. Let's flick across to Mirko, the last man standing for Ox now versus Smoke and NK. 
Smoke over in that B sniper house. Remember, just to the left hand side, and Mirko really exposing his back to him. Shows obviously moved position. Yeah, just about. Well, he knew he was there, but well, it's not in the right place at the right time. Does down NK with the Deagle. And now it is a one on one. Smoke versus Mirko. Smoke with that scope. Mirko. Remember, Smoke has to get that bomb plant in, and he's a long way from the bomber. With 22 seconds left, you've got to assume he's not going to not gonna get the plant in. He needs to get the frag. And Mirko really just wants to dash away. Doesn't matter. He manages to down him easily. And that was a round for Ox. And now it's 11-5. They're just two rounds from going through to the winner bracket final. Yep, nice work for Ox now. They are uh, looking to um, get themselves on. We have been uh, looking for Ox to really close this one out. Uh, and they finally taken another step towards it as Leho gets himself the frag onto Rainbow. We are joined in the casting room by an Italian shoutcasting legend. The one and only Akira is uh, in the house. I believe he's going to be rocking the mic soon. Yes, he is. And uh, Smoke is going to go down and it's going to be Ox to pick up this round. Akira, what are you casting next? Starcraft 2. Do we have that on this PC? Can they do video after this? I'm sure. If there's Starcraft on this PC, you can do it on this yes. so you can have video. Yes. We don't know if there's StarCraft on this PC, but if there is, it's yours. There's only one round left, supposedly, but here we go at the moment. It is going to be Ox surely going to be closing out the match. It is on here because they did Italian on here yesterday. And uh, Leo down in rainbow there with a grenade. And Ox going to surely close out strong. Yes, they are. Fatal last man standing. And where is he? If I can find him before he gets taken down, he's got it all to do. And he's been tagged and fragged. And that is game over. Ox go through to the next round. And well, in the winner bracket final, surely they're going to be facing uh, Red Bite there. Red Bite playing SK at the moment. I don't know what the scores are. You can check them out on the Tech9 site. They'll all be going up there, as well as uh, Challenge. Challenge. Challenge.com. Uh, UGC card P. That's where it all is. And on that note, we bid you adieu. Thank you very much. We're going to hand over here on this stream to the Italians for some StarCraft 2. If you haven't heard Akira cast, you're going to want to stay here. It's an experience and a half. Goodbye.